in today video we are going to design a c clip in on shape so first of all we have to create and create our document and we can name it c clip and now we are move to the working environment so this will be the front page and how it will be look if we are in the part part studio if we are in the assembly studio the look will be like that the command will be different but for now we have to make a part so we are going to click on part studio so this is the total environment of the own shape we have here all the feature available and here we we, we can see the name and we can change the work workspace units by clicking here this tab and workspace units so for this design the required units are in inches so i cannot i'm not going to change it so inches click ok so if if the units are in different you can change it here from workspace units so first of all we have to make a sketch and then we use this extrude command to add the solid body so for the first feature we needed the sketch so click on the sketch the sketch when you will click on the sketch it will ask ask us on which plane you want to make this sketch we have the front plane right plane and top plane so for the selection selection of these uh, planes uh, we have to select a plane which has uh, according to our given drawing and click on it front plane and here as you can see when we click on this front plane the front plane is selected here and the feature is activated now we uh, now we have the uh, uh, sketching tools appear here on the toolbar but this area it will be in the isometric view as we can see in this view cube and we have to change it so it must be in front of us in normal to us so we can easily sketch on the front plane so right click and you can see here view normal to the sketch plane now we are view, viewing normal to the sketch plane so for this uh, design for the c clip uh, i am going to use the line command so select this command line command and we we are going to discuss some uh, basic concepts of making this sketch so as i click on the sketch uh, on the line command and the line command is activated so here we have the origin we can also hide these planes by clicking on this eye okay now all the planes are uh, hidden so here we click first click here on this origin and the line tool will be activated now according to our requirement we can add a horizontal line when we when the line will be horizontal a uh, uh, little horizontal constraint or we can also say it relation will be shown so for this line we needed a, a uh, vertical line so this is the vertical line and if we move here and like uh, horizontal we have this relation showing under this line which is telling us if we draw this line we will we are also adding a relation which is horizontal and this relation is uh, added automatically so we are going to draw a, a vertical line and make sure we have this relation so draw a line like that then the other line and now after drawing this first line after the second click we again have the uh, line tool activated so this line we are going to draw it at some angle at a slope and then the third line we are going to make a horizontal line draw the third line and then again move here and draw a line at some slope and move here and draw a line having the relation of vertical and then we draw a line like that and now press the right click and you have here the escape line so now the line tool is deactivated now this is our basic uh, our initial sketch we did not add in any dimension uh, or we just added some automatic relations so for example if you click here on this line and you 
you did not uh, edit this uh, vertical horizontal relation so let me delete it no this line did not have the relation of horizontal and we can we but for the for our requirement we needed a uh, at this point we needed a horizontal line so here you can see at this bar at here we can see this toolbar if we expand it we have different constraint or relation we have the relation of coincident concentric parallel tangent horizontal vertical so here we needed a horizontal relation so i am going to select this horizontal and i am going to click this line and escape to create the horizontal constraint so now if we click here you can see we have this relation of horizontal okay now we needed to add the dimension so i am going to activate this dimension tool when the dimension tool is activated we have to select the points either we can select the points or we can also select the line to assign the dimension to these lines so for the first dimension i am going to select this point and the second point and i want a dimension between them a dimension of 0 0.375 so now sketch will become smaller and just drag it here and zoom by, by the middle mouse button of your uh, mouse the wheel you can zoom in and zoom out okay like that now again the dimension tool is activated now select this line and select this line so basically we wanted to add a, a angle between these two lines so if we move this uh, uh, sir like that we we will have the uh, di different angle shown so we want to place this angle like that and this dimension is given as 45 okay move to the next dimension so dimension from this point to this point dimension between these two point and the horizontal dimension this dimension we have 1.25 okay and again from this point to this point we have the dimension of 1.5 like that now as we are going to add these dimensions some lines will turn into black that means these lines are fully defined this line did not needed any dimensions any further dimension okay and from this point to this point we have this dimension uh horizontal dimension 0 0.25 okay like that next the dimension from this point to this point but a vertical dimension like that we have 0 0.25 okay now all of these lines turn into black that means these lines are fully defined and for the next dimension we are going to add between this point and this point and this dimension this dimension we needed 1.25 divided by 2 like that so basically in the next step we we want to use a tool which is which is called a mirror tool here mirror tool and uh, this tool is used to mirror uh, uh, some, some lines with the reference to another uh, reference line so basically we want all of these lines mirror about this line so for this line we we needed these lines in the in the reference form or best, uh, reference line so select this construction tool and select this line so this line will be converted to construction select this line and select this tool now this line converted into construction line okay now we are going to use this uh, mirror tool so select this tool select mirror select a mirror line so this is the mirror line select the intentis to be mirrored now we have to press the control and select all the sorry we 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 have to select this line we have to select this line this line this line and this line all of these lines we don't need it to press the control so all of these lines will be added okay so that's the way we use the mirror tool so now we all of these lines are mirrored with the reference to these lines and for the next step again select this uh, 
line tool and we have to draw some lines so again draw a line like that then like so here we have to draw a horizontal line so basically when when you are drawing a line but you don't want to add a relation you can press the shift on your keyboard it will not uh, activate any relation or constraint so but here we needed this relation the whole vertical relation draw a line like that then a horizontal line like that then again a line like that and move the second line it must be coincident here on this reference line but for now i am just going to place it like that so i can show you how we can add the relation so now we want this point coincident on this line so this point must touching this line so press the control uh, press the uh, select this coincident select this point and select this reference line now this point will be coincident with this reference line okay again we are going to define some dimensions so from this line to this line we we have the from this line to this line we have this dimension of point two and we needed angle between this line and this line at this place it's 45 next we needed to define the vertical dimension between them 0.125 and then we needed to define the distance between these two lines and the dimension of this line is given as 0.5 okay now all the lines are uh, in black that means we fully define it again we have to use the mirror tool so select the mirror tool so first select a mirror line so this will be the mirror line and then intent this to be mirrored so we have to select all of these lines like that now we define uh, all the dimension and our sketch is also fully defined this is the required sketch press ok and we have this sketch like that so the mirror tool help us and uh, the mirror tool uh, make our work more efficient so basically if we don't use this mirror we have to uh, draw manually draw all of these lines in the upper side so now we are going to use the extrude tool so basically uh, when we have a sketch and we press the extrude tool we are adding some material we are making the solid body so the extrude tool is activated now we have a different option here so we want follower is asking we want a solid body or a surface body so now our requirement is solid body and for the first so this will be the first feature so it asking new add remove intersect so this is the first uh, first feature that that's why we needed a new and faces or sketch region to extrude so here we have to select this sketch region which we want to extrude now the extrude command is adding the uh, solid body or the material uh, to our 2d sketch so here we have different option for the direction we can select the blind we can select up to next up to face part uh, uh, up to the uh, vertex through all so all of these options are uh, have some uses we will discuss in the coming videos and here we can define the depth or the length or the thickness of this uh, region so for this one we needed zero point five and press okay now we we added this feature and we converted this sketch into a solid body so thank you so thank you so much for watching this video this is just a simple uh, tutorial and also why the coming uh, videos related to the own shape we are going to uh, learn something